right, so there's this really cool little intro that's, that takes a D shape and moves it all the way up to here where your middle finger would be on the seventh fret of the high E string, and it's that little D shape, which actually becomes a G major triad. Listen to how they sound the same. It's the same chord, different voicing is what you would call that. So we do this shape. Then we slide down to our index finger on the fifth fret of the high E, ring finger on the seventh fret of the G, pinky on the seventh fret of the B, and we play that. And that's a D major triad. So, da -da -da -da. Then down a whole step, same shape. Back up. Check it out. Same thing again. Low D voicing. And that's that little transitional thing. Then you need an E minor chord to our favorite bar chord, B minor. Index finger presses down, and that looks like a little A minor shape. Then E minor again to B minor to A major. So that's what we got so far. We got so E minor, then B minor. Minor, B minor, A, then it switches to A minor, kind of a Beatles-y thing, to G, B minor, to D, and that is the verse, my friends, so check it out. Uh, you know, you do this a few times. minor to B minor, E minor, B minor to A, A minor to G, back to B minor to D, starts over, B minor to B minor. Same thing. Switches to A minor. G. B minor. into the chorus and then that's the the bulk of the you know the singing part of the song and the chorus is G to D back and forth like this G D D G D G D G D now check it out though when you're playing the D chord the bass player is getting an F sharp in there. So if you can, when you play the D, if you can wrap your thumb around and get that second fret. Like that. Then wait for E minor. And then C. for longer, back to the chorus again.
And awesomely enough, my buddy Papa Stash came and taught the guitar solo for this song. So you'll be uh, checking out for that in the near future. And that is the, the basic way to play that awesome progression. So have fun with that.